Okay, so what I'm going to do this time is go through the uh, calibration of the Blue Lab pH pen. So what you need to do, and as you notice, um, I've had the pen hydrating inside the um, KCI storage solution for the last couple of days. So uh, that's pretty much done. And then from there, you just got to rinse that out in some fresh water. And then we take our pH 7 calibration solution and we hold our, we turn it on and we hold it in there until we get a bit of a reading and then we hold the calibration key until we get calibrate and then it says 7. Okay, now you can't see that, but I'll turn the light on. And it came up and it said Cal 7. The light doesn't really stay on for too long. So then we'll rinse this out in some fresh water. Got to be careful not to uh, hit the probe on something because the actual probe itself is glass and uh, it will damage. Then we take our pH 4 solution and we dip that in. And we wait till it uh, settles down. Then we hold the calibrate button again. Okay, and then it does its little thing. Okay, and that says cow four. It's pretty hard to see there without the light being on. And now we've got a little tick down there saying that the actual pen is calibrated. So we'll rinse that out again. And the biggest uh, important thing about these pens is that you have to keep that probe wet all the time. So inside the uh, little cover that you put on it is a small well and you've got to put a few drops of the um, KCI storage solution in there and when you put it back on and that'll keep it moist. But for now I'm not going to put it back on and uh, I'm going to have a little bit of a play around with it. So thanks for watching and uh, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.